What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, the Bad Diggity Dizzle, back here with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the NFL Draft, and it does pertain to the New York Giants. I just want to say before uh, you know we get into the video, I will be live tonight at 10.30. So you know those are always a fun time in those streams. We can talk about this. We can talk about the draft. We can talk about whatever you want. You know how we do it in those live streams. It should be a lot of fun. And I just want to say I really do appreciate all the support you guys have shown me in the live streams. You know, and in, in the videos, commenting, watching it, hitting that thumbs up. And again, if you're new to the channel, man, please, you know, I encourage you to subscribe, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up. I do a lot of Giants uh, videos and live streams and everything. So, uh, again, thank you for your continued support during this tough time. We're getting through this one day at a time, guys, and we will get through this. One thing we're all looking forward to, no doubt about it, is the NFL draft. This is like uh, a kid on Christmas Day. You know what I mean? It's five days away. And when you were a kid on Christmas, and Christmas is five days away, you're counting down the days. You're Xing them off on a calendar. You say, what do I got under the tree? I can't wait to see if I got this present, if I got that present. No, I want this. I want this present. I can't wait to see if I get it. So it's kind of like with us Giants fans, man. What, which new toys are we going to get on this team? Which player are we going to get? Are we going to take the offensive tackle? Are we going to take Isaiah Simmons? Are we going to trade back? All the speculation, all the trade rumors, all everything that's been rumored to happen we'll find out in a few days and it is like the only live sporting event that we've had in near two months so i know everybody's excited for it i am as well and i cannot wait for thursday night in this entire weekend uh you know next weekend coming up stream with the entertainment it's going to be a lot of fun and i hope you guys will join that and again i hope you guys will join the live stream tonight but to get into the uh meat and potatoes in a video uh, Makai Becton had his urine test flagged. Um, so obviously this sets up a lot of different things. How is this going to affect his draft stock? Honestly, I, I don't think it affects it too much. I, I'll be completely honest with you. I, I think that guys, that teams that still were interested in Makai Becton probably will. There's gonna, It's obviously going to turn some teams off, and I do believe the New York Giants are one of those. As we all know, back in 2016, you had the whole Laramie Tunsil gas mask thing. Tunsil was projected to go top five, maybe even first overall in that draft, and I believe he slipped all the way. If I'm not mistaken, it was number 13 to the Dolphins. I don't remember exactly where they picked in that draft, but that was a guy that the New York Giants definitely could have went after, and obviously that whole um, thing turned them off from him, and I believe that this same thing would happen with Mekhi Becton. We've also heard about Zach Bond having a diluted sample, and honestly, that's not a huge deal. Zach Bond has said he drank a lot of water, which is – definitely the case for some athletes you drink more water you're going to weigh more water weighs a ton so you if you drink a lot of water a lot of guys will fill up on water so that they weigh more and that that is definitely very possible not the case with Makai Becton here so again this doesn't mean that he failed a drug test it just sends up red flags you know and, and so he's going to definitely turn some teams off and I do believe that the New York Giants will be one of those teams I don't know how serious they were about taking Makai Becton it was a name that was mentioned a lot he is an enormous human being six seven three sixty four that is a big man that is a walking building okay that guy's a big boy there's no doubt about that and the new york giants you know dave gettleman loves his hog mollies and it doesn't get any more hog molly than makai becton now i know there are some giants fans that are interested in makai becton a lot of us were not we think he's too raw we think he's a project and really you don't want to bring a project into number four that's just my opinion and i, I know there's other giants fans that agree with that you're drafting top five. You don't bring in a project. You bring in a guy that is NFL ready, that is ready to play at a at an all pro, at a Pro Bowl level, his rookie season, and in his prime, an All Pro level. That that's the type of guy you're looking for in the top five. You cannot take a project at number four. So I don't know how serious they were about Makai Becton, but it was a name that was mentioned a lot when it came to giant circles and giant mock drafts and everything else. You know, now we're hearing different things. We've heard Tristan Wurst. We've heard Jedrick Wills. We hear Isaiah Simmons. Haven't heard about a lot of Andrew Thomas uh, as of yet. Uh, so, you know, maybe he's another guy as we get closer to the draft that we hear more about. But, you know, Makai Becton, like I said, the, the flagged urine sample, I do believe that this turns the Giants away from him, which I'm happy about. Again, if we took Makai Becton, I wouldn't have been happy, but I certainly wouldn't have been upset. You know what I mean? We take Derek Brown. I'm going to be ticked off. You know, we take a wide receiver, I'm going to be ticked off. You know, we live stream the draft. You definitely want to you definitely want to go to come in there and see what our reaction is. We all know what it was last year, so I'm not saying it's going to be that. But I, I love that my subscribers, my viewers say, Bad Dog, what, what draft pick is going to make you react like you did last year? People seem to enjoy my anger. I don't know why. I guess it's part of my charm. But 
Uh, Makai Becton wouldn't have got that reaction. Derek Brown may. Um, but, you know, obviously Makai Becton is a guy that was high in the Giants' radar at some point because he was linked to the Giants, and I do believe that the flag gear and sample will turn them away. And obviously Jedrick Wills is coming to the forefront, and, and this is the guy that I think the Giants are going to take with their first pick. But anyway, you know, give me your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about Makai Becton's uh, flag sample? Does it turn the Giants away? Were we ever really in the running for Makai Becton? And does it drop his draft stock? And how far does it drop it? And the entertainer stream last night, which, by the way, it was unbelievable, man. Just shout out to all those guys. Entertainer for hosting it. OGR Sports, Kid Blue, The Hub, and, and Rover Sports. I had a blast. Some of the best Giants content creators on YouTube. Just an awesome group of guys. We had a blast doing that last night. Um, that was a lot of fun. So shout out to those guys. And again, you know, let me know your your thoughts about uh, Makai Becton and everything else. One thing I brought up in that stream was if he did slip to 36, is that a guy you take in the second round? But, you know, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. As always, I, I thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys later tonight for the live stream. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. It's the Bad Diggity Dizzle, and I am gone. Peace!